Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how we will install Node.js and uh, Node Package Manager npm in our AWS instance. So, like my previous video, I just show Cradle and Maven. So it was just a straightforward approach, happy to get installed. So like that, we can also install Node.js, but maybe the version will be different. So how we will do that? So in my previous video, I show you like sudo apt install. For Gradle and Maven, we use Gradle and Maven. So in this case, we are using Node.js. So it will install Node.js. So it will take almost 24.7 MB additional space. Okay, right now Node is installed. And if you type like Node version, you can see the version version 8.10 and 10 pm you need to check that version also so in 10 pm it's not in installed right now but you need to install npm like node okay it will take another 202 MB. So basically, if you are using some development tool, then only this will useful. Otherwise, it's uh, an additional two, 202 MB of your space will lose. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just making it about so I need only the node right now in next video or something I will show you some other ways to install that so if we are installing from docker or something that will be great we don't need this node and the npm node we need but npm not need to install so for we are planning to use docker for our application so in that case it's not useful to spend your 202 MB of additional displays so that's all for node and npm so uh, before we are wrapping up this session I need to show you what is the node version currently available so So this is version of 12 14 0 npm 6 3 so in my case I install version of 8 so it's a pretty old version so basically most of the people will know okay with this approach even if this example they are installing turn so it's better to you to install by downloading that particular version otherwise you will get only the old version that will not benefit that much so this is the case for gate and maven everything and already have a package in our own operating system the version will be old so So that's all about node version. I don't know is any way we can update our node. Probably if I install. Yeah, if I am ins installing node npm, I can update from that.
So this is the question, how to update Node.js to the latest version. So here they are Node version manager. There is another, uh, another, uh, yeah, another node package manager, node manager, maybe we can say like that. So we are using that one to update our own version. Package manager, so Okay, so what I am going to do is, anyway, I'm going to install my NPM, even if it is taking that much space, I'm going with that. So after that, I will try to update into latest version. It's almost done, ninety-nine percent. So what I'm going to do here. I'm pasting this one. Let's see what what is going to happen. Then I need to run this one. Okay. Okay. So right now we are okay. Okay. So Installing node version total. Okay, so basically it's installed in another location. So I have two versions. If you are going here in this directory, you can see both version will be available. So here So I have only one version here it's probably Okay, so basically right now I have tool but I need to set my path then only I can access this one so right the old one is user bin so yeah that's the difference one is in user bin and one is in your use local bin so no command change location on the old location remember in your current shell so to reset command location so either start a new shell or execute path command so even if if i am uh, exiting from this one and uh, starting a new shell they are saying like the version will be changed let's let's check whether the version change or not so okay so here we go 
the version change so after exiting my no yeah sure and i took the newest one so right now i got the latest version so that's where we can install and update node.js with the npm so it's a very straightforward approach so you need to know these three commands i mean install minus j n so n is the latest one so you can use n latest and it will install the latest one so node package manager is very useful for this scenario that's all for today tomorrow probably i will come with something else thank you for